Our week-long series, Anchors Away, continues. We give you a glimpse of our lives outside of the Fox News studios. And today, it's Heather's turn. It's my turn. Well, <laughs> uh, for years, you've seen me deliver the news, of course, from the anchor chair. And sometimes it's serious news and do a lot of work in the field, too. But once I leave my job, my other job begins, and that is wife and mother. Come on, sweetie. Okay, these are my boys, Peter and Gage. Peter, how old are you? Three and a half. Three and a half, and this is Gage. She's two and a half. And uh, picking him up from school now. Come on, Peter. <laughs> and every day we pick him up. It's the cutest thing. The kids sing God Bless America. And the first time I heard it, it literally just brought tears to my eyes. So they do this every day at school. So we're going to head home now and uh, grab some lunch. By the way, these guys are 13 months apart, so life gets a little crazy around our place. Come on, Peter, let's go. Okay. No, 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 not back there, honey, into, into your own seat. So uh, we live on Long Island, and you know, when most people think of Long Island, they think of Joey Buttafuoco or they think of the mob, <laughs> but it's actually a really nice place. You have lots of green space. And we used to live in Manhattan, but a couple kids and three dogs later, you need the space. Why don't you carry these in? No, I... No. No? All righty, let's go make some lunch. It's now about 1 o'clock, so from the time I wake up at 1.30 in the morning, crazy all day long. He bit me. He bit you? Gage, say you're sorry. Okay, you're going to go to the naughty room now, okay? Oopsies. Can you clean that up for me, please? No. And it's just non-stop, as any mom would know. You just go, go, go. Come here, Sadie. She's sort of our naughty little girl. And this is Jojo. Jojo, come. You guys must be hungry, huh? And what do you say we go play outside when we're done? Okay, let's go guys. Let's go to the playground. This is my husband, Scott. <laughs> say hi. Hi, how are he's, you? He's not so excited about being on camera. <laughs> Scott and his dad built this playground uh, a few months back, right? Right after Sandy, Superstorm Sandy. And it had actually knocked down some of these trees. And so my husband here, Scott, loves a chainsaw. And uh, I'm a pretty tolerant wife, but we have one rule in our house. So what, what's the one rule, Scott? No drinking beer when you're using the chainsaw. There we go. <laughs> Well, thanks for spending the day with me. Uh, this is pretty much what a typical day is after work. It never stops. It never seems to let up. But uh, my little guy, fortunately, he still naps, so I'm going to put him down for a nap right now. And uh, I think I'm going to need one, too. Come on, sweetheart. No! Yeah, there's a... There's a lot of crying that goes on in my house that with two so little kids. Cute. They're adorable. You're yeah. such a great mom. Oh, well, it's fun to see you. you behind the scenes. And no beer and chainsaws for my I love husband. that that's the one rule. Yeah, except yeah. The, the one the rule. The one rule. My mother-in-law will just be, oh, Heather, <laughs> oh, Heather. But anyway, that's my family, so thanks for coming home with us, They're everybody. They're really cute. Thank your you. boys just seem so happy. That little Gage. Not, I mean, not all the time. Smiling? Not all the time. <laughs> all, right. all right, tomorrow we're going to feature Patty Ann Brown. She's going to show us how she spends time on the weekends with her husband and her son Connor. Uh, looking forward to that. Me too. All right, it's 39 after the top of the hour. Coming up in just a few weeks,